He really enjoys going to the movies. He's always considerate to his fellow moviegoers. This fellow is disturbing everyone around him. Oh, look, Dave is shutting off his phone. Uh, uh, uh. Now is not the time for talking or texting. Oh, well, now look at that. There's a true movie watching friend. Let's all be more like Dave. Hello everyone, this video is about the leather tanning process. The process involves seven main stages which are curing, soaking, liming, dehairing, baiting, degreasing, and tanning. Enjoy watching! The first stage of leather tanning is the curing process. Curing is the process of preserving the hides from getting spoiled well before exercise of various processing and to use them purposely later on. It is done at control temperature, pH, moisture and by using the toxic chemical. There are two types of curing processes which are radiation and salt. In this stage, the enzyme is not directly used. However, it is required to preserve the height and skin. Next is the soaking stage. Soaking is the first tanning operation for treatment of heights and skin with H2O. Height and skin are washed and soaked in surfactant and antimicrobial compound. The best enzymatic method used is protease plus surfactant. In this stage, enzyme involved is alkaline and pancreatic protease. The function for these enzymes is to remove non-free bleed Fibrilla proteins. The third stage is the liming process. It is the process of swelling up the heights and skins. Liming process gives the desired swelling of collagen structure, which helps to open up the fiber bundles. After the liming stage is the deheading stage. Deherring is the process of removing hair and fur without damaging them. It depends on phenomenon of hair loosening which is due to chemical reaction of lime liquor on hair root or base of hair shaft. The enzyme involved in this stage is the alkaline and neutral proteases which is to improve the waste crafter quality. In flushing process, the subcutaneous material is removed. For splitting stage, the height of skin is cut into two or more horizontal layers. Next is the bedding process. It is the process of beating leather cruelly with heavy and sudden stroke by using metal rods or wooden lock. The purpose is to loosening and peptization of non-collagenous skin structure through the removal of residues of the interfibrillary protein, epidermis and scuds in order to make them soft and supple for tanning. The enzyme required in this process are trypsin and alkaline protease to make them soft, supple and pliable. 
degreasing. Degreasing is the process to remove grease or natural fats from hides and skin. The enzyme used is the alkaline protease and alkaline lipase. However, by using alkaline protease, the best condition for degreasing can be achieved. The last stage in leather tanning is the tanning process. It is the process of converting unstable raw hide into leather with adequate strength properties and resistant to biological and physical attacking agent. In tanning process, the enzyme is not involved directly, but it is required to influence the quality of the tanning. Thank you.